locking and unlocking mechanism of the knee joint. As we all know, standing requires much of muscular effort. So the muscles are taut, the ligaments are taut during standing. So to decrease this muscular effort, there is a phenomenon known as locking of the knee joint. So when we are standing in full extension, our knee joints are locked. This locking helps in reducing the muscular effort. Let us now understand how this locking is produced. Locking occurs as a result of medial rotation of the femur during the last stage of extension. So medial rotation of the femur is due to quadriceps femoris muscle. So quadriceps femoris muscle helps in locking of the knee joint. So what is the principle behind locking of the knee joint? The anterior posterior diameter of lateral femoral condyle is less than that of the medial condyle. So because of this, when the lateral condyle or articular surface is fully used up by extension, a part of medial condylar surface remains unused. So because of this, the lateral condyle serves as an axis around which the medial condyle rotates backwards, that is medial rotation of the medial condyle of the femur and this leads to, this leads to locking of the knee joint. So quadriceps femoris helps in locking of the knee joint. The lateral condyle acts as an axis and because the lateral condyle size is less than the medial condyle, the medial condyle rotates backwards or medially leading to locking of the knee joint. And this locking occurs in last stages of extension, that is last 30 degrees of extension. So to begin the flexion, the locked knee must be unlocked and the unlocking of the knee joint is brought about by the action of popliteus muscle and what happens in unlocking of the knee joint lateral rotation of the femur lateral rotation of the femur occurs on the tibia because of the contraction of the popliteus muscle and unlocking occurs in initial stages of the flexion of the knee joint